I can't believe people still use these. The first commercial hard drive came out in 1956, and it's still in your computer. Well, they have become more efficient in its over 60 year lifespan, but there are definitely some better alternatives out there. Although they are slightly more expensive, 2.5 inch SATA SSDs and NVMe M.2s are better in almost every way. But we are here to find out which one you should buy. When looking for which type of storage you're going to buy, there are a few things that you should keep in mind. What are you using your storage for? How fast does the storage need to be? How much storage do you need? And plenty more. Storage speed is extremely important for a good amount of people. Whether you're creating the Mona Lisa in Microsoft Paint, or you're the type of person that uninstalls games because they suck and then they need to re-download the next day just so they can uninstall it that same night. The speed of storage is heavily reliant on the type of storage you have. Hard drive standard read and write times are anywhere from 80 to 160 megabytes per second, which is by no means fast. While 2.5 inch SATA SSDs average around 500 megabytes per second read and write, and the SATA SSD triples the hard drive. But the NVMe M.2 goes even further, averaging 3300 megabytes per second read and a 1200 megabytes per second write. So it's pretty obvious that there's quite the speed discrepancy between the three. That doesn't mean that hard drives are completely useless though. The amount of storage that you can get into a hard drive compared to a SATA SSD or an M.2 is quite lopsided. The reason why people need a large amount of storage is pretty simple. They either have a 75 game Steam library downloaded even though they only play two games, or they're the type of people that still hoard 30 years worth of family photos because they don't know that the cloud exists. We put all three different types of storage against each other to see what type of version will give you the best bang for your buck, and we did this by seeing how much it costs for one gigabyte of storage for each. Depending on SSD quality, PCIe version, SSD cache, and hard drive RPM, you will see a different level of performance. But for simplicity, we'll be sticking to the three different Western Digital Blue variants. Also, the types of hard drives you use will also have an impact on reliability as well, but we will not be covering that in this video. Hard drives per gigabyte are significantly lower in price compared to the others, and actually decrease in price per gigabyte as the overall hard drive size increases. While SATA SSDs rise slightly and M.2 shoot up. So overall, hard drives are still the best option if you need a large amount of storage space. Network attached storage systems are a great example of this. The majority of NAS systems strictly use hard drives to reduce costs. They do use SSDs in some cases, but the cost heavily outweighs the benefits. One benefit that hard drives do not have is durability. Hard drives are the only one out of the three that have mechanical parts in them. With that, you run the risk of these parts wearing out or breaking. With these mechanical parts, there are even more drawbacks. They're the only type of storage to actually create noise. Especially older hard drives, you could possibly hear a humming or whining, while the other options are completely silent. The heat that hard drives create come from the electrical activity within the hard drive along with the friction that comes with the 7200 rotations per minute of the hard drive itself. Too much of this heat can cause your hard drives to fail. So if your computer is not cooled well because of a low airflow case or a lack of fans, this can cause a catastrophic failure and loss of data. While again, the other two options don't run into this problem nearly as much. M.2s in particular have heat sinks that are around $10 and would completely solve this problem. The longevity of these storage options are pretty interesting. Hard drives usually last anywhere from three to five years on average. They can definitely last longer than that, but you could see reduced performance, and the longer you go, the more you risk failure of your drive. SATA SSDs do have a lifespan, which can range anywhere from around 10 to 20 years. Although they don't age like mechanical hard drives, they eventually get to the point where they can no longer retain any memory. An M.2 under ideal conditions should never die. Estimates say that an M.2 can last around 171 years. That does not mean that it can't randomly fail, but if you have an M.2 and you take care of it, it could live longer than you do. So if you're looking for longevity, M.2 is the winner, and it's not even remotely close. Combinations of different types of storage is something that we have not talked about yet, and it's definitely one of the easiest things you can do to get the most out of your storage. For instance, if you're building on a budget, you can use a small NVMe as a boot drive. Basically what we mean is have Windows downloaded on the M.2 to help speed up your computer turning on and the relative speed of Windows itself. And if there is some extra space on that drive, you can put a couple of your most played games on it as well. Gaming on an M.2 will allow for much faster loading times and it will also increase your performance of the game just a little bit. With that boot drive, you can go for a one terabyte or two terabyte hard drive to store anything from games to photos for a very reasonable price, and this will help you save a lot of money that you can spend on other parts of your computer. 